Welcome back to another OBS tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to use filters to change our audio and video and images. Uh, there's all kinds of different things we can do, different filters we can apply is what they're called uh, in OBS. Sometimes people also call these effects or maybe like adjustments. Uh, so I have an image loaded right now as kind of part of this. And I also have my uh, video capture device, my webcam, and then I have the audio from my webcam. So we can see the audio activity here. There's also desktop audio being captured, but we can't really see that. Let me turn this down a little bit so we're not into the red. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is maybe let's adjust, uh, well, we'll adjust just this image. So to do that, I can click on image, I can click here on filters, or I can right click on it and just go to filters. And that brings up this uh, dialogue here that shows what filters we can apply. And so I'll move it here so we can see a little bit of everything. Move this over here. Uh, the filters, if, if we click on this plus sign, we can add uh, we can add loots. So we'll talk about doing that in, later. We can do chroma key, which is removing the background. Like if you have a green screen or a blue screen, we can do color correction. Maybe that's what we'll click on now. So we'll add this color correction. And then we can adjust the gamma of this image. We can adjust the contrast. We can do uh, color saturation. We can do the brightness. And so we can really change this image quite a bit. We can do hue shift and you kind of change all these colors around and make it look super interesting. Uh, opacity is the transparency, so I'll show you that one on the video. But let's just leave this right here. What are the options? Is that all the options we have? So you can scroll down and see. Um, let's close that. I'm going to go to my video capture device. I'm going to right click and go to filters, and I'll show you uh, what that opacity would be doing. Uh, now, notice my video, it has audio and the video, so I can apply an effect to the vi the audio, which is kind of strange because I ha actually have the audio as a separate uh, a separate capture as well. But let's add a an effect uh, to the video first. So I'm gonna go to this color correction and show you what that op uh, opacity does. So I'm applying this color correction to each uh, item, each different source. I did the image, and the things I applied to that image did not affect my video. Notice, and so now if I want, I can adjust the brightness of just my video. So it's really white and bright. I can make it really dark and black, and it doesn't affect the image behind it. Uh, but this opacity is basically the transparency of the video. So if I want it to, to disappear, I can do that. Um, we wouldn't really use this as a fade in or fade out, but we can do it. Sometimes you'll want to have something that's a little bit opaque, a little bit transparent and see-through, and you can use this opacity to achieve that. 100% is full uh, image or video, whatever you have, and then 50% is just half transparent and zero is completely transparent. So that's how that works. Um, what other things do we have? If I go, if I right click and go back into filters, uh, let's just see what else we have here. Oh, and also there's a little eye to the side of it. I'll show you that. So I can do this crop and pad is one that you'll want to do a lot. Uh, crop lets you crop or cut part of your video. So if I don't want to have, if I want to make this a little bit different, I can uh, come over here and just click this and it starts cutting off the side of my video. I think I can use the scroll wheel also or I could type in certain amounts. So if I go here uh, I can type in like 50 and it cuts off 50 pixels off the side. If I do 500 it cuts off and there's just a tiny little strip of my uh, video. And again you can use the scroll wheel to kind of fine tune that. We cut the video just, oh, just like how we want to um, so it's kind of like zoom in as well, only it, it changes the shape uh, of your of your source. So now if I close that, now my source, I don't know if you remember what it was like before. Well, I can show you what it was like before. We can right click and go into filters. That's what I wanted to show you next is there's this little eye to the side. So we can enable or disable that effect. So if I drag this back up to here, we can see with it on, with the crop on. And if we click this, this is what it looks like with the crop off. Uh, and then I don't think I did any color correction, but if I did some some different type of you know color changing, make my skin green, I can turn that on and off. So, yeah, uh, let's look at the audio effects that we have. If I close this uh, under my audio uh, capture, I'll right click and go to filters, and if we go to add, notice it's different depending on what source we're looking at we have different options so we don't have color correction now because we can't do color correction on audio but I can do gain which is our volume so this gain just lets me control so look down here at the activity in the audio and if I turn this up we see it's way peeking into the red now it's super super too loud 
and I can make it really soft. So if you have a really soft microphone and you've already came down, come down here and turned it all the way up and it's still too soft, you can come adjust it in the gain. Um, this is going to sometimes not give you the best audio quality using gain this way. Uh, what else can we do? So something I like to do is just click on this compressor uh, and just leave everything how it is and it kind of gives you a more uh, it improves it can improve the sound of your microphone the quality of it um, it just adds some different settings to your audio and kind of um, makes it sound better so and there's some we're gonna and we can fine-tune some of these later but just adding the compressor might just improve the quality of your audio something else that's nice is this noise suppression if you have like a fan or maybe buzzing lights or a sound happening in the background that's a constant sound you can use this noise suppression um, to cut out um, certain background noise. Uh, what else do we have? This limiter will limit like when you, if you clap your hands really loud or you you some, you have a loud noise happening, it'll make it so it doesn't uh, peek out and make a kind of an ugly sound in your audio. So all kinds of different great things. And we'll go over some of these. Maybe I'll do a video just on improving, improving microphone audio independently. Uh, oh, and then I also want to mention, you can apply filters to an entire scene. To do that, just go to the scene and right click on it and then go to filters. And now in this case, it will apply the filter to everything, the image and the video and anything happening in your scene. So to do that, we can do uh, the color correction is kind of the easiest one just to illustrate what's happening. But if I turn up the brightness now, notice it does the brightness of the video and the image together. And it's also independent because we already have color correction happening on those and it's in addition to the color correction already happening. Um, so we can make it like everything black and white, you know, if we wanted to. Uh, and then one way you would use this is by doing, uh, if we go back into filters, is by actually adding a uh, crop and pad. Is there something else we can do? Well, let's do, we have a scaling and aspect ratio. So you can scale your entire image. Oh, let's go here. So we could change this whole thing by a certain resolution. So we could say make this kind of a one-to-one -one ratio and it makes it more of a box and then we could resize it if we want to. Or we could scale the whole thing down to like a 640 by 360. And so it makes it just a certain, it makes everything in that a certain size. So if you wanted to do a screen capture of multiple screens or there's a, some different applications, you, times you might use this. But it's just good to know that you can apply filters to a, a scene. And then to get rid of the filter, we just go back into filters. We can either turn it off. Oh, I'm in audio filters now. Click on this, right click, go to filters. Um, you can click on it and hit the minus key and that will actually just remove it completely. Or like I said, you can turn it off by clicking the eyeball right here. Well, I hope that this has been informative for you. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below. Um, play with filters. Uh, it's gonna be, it really adds a lot of more functionality to OBS and Believe it or not, a lot of people use OBS and they never even know that it has this functionality of filters. It's kind of like you can do some basic live video editing. Uh, a lot of things that people would do in post, they record a video, then they edit it in a video editor afterwards. Sometimes you can actually capture the live video how you want it uh, without having to do post video editing because you're using these filters. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Leave your questions and comments below if you have any. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.